Hey, what's up everyone? Travis here with Holly Park and I'm here to walk you through our lease agreement. This does not replace actually reading your lease agreement. This is the candles condensed soup of the lease. Please ask questions. I am also not a lawyer and do not pretend to be one. If you have any legal questions about the lease agreement, please seek counsel. This is my interpretation of the lease, which guides my decisions when you ask questions. Let's start with your header. Make sure you check to make sure everything is accurate. The lease header will tell you your suite type, lease start date, end date, annual rent, monthly rent, and when you get assigned an apartment, your apartment number and address. When you first see the lease agreement, your suite number and address will be blank until I sign and add the final address to the document. We will then send all parties a copy of the lease agreement once the document finalizes via email in a link that expires after 30 days. If you want a copy, download and store it. Elsewise, simply request a copy at a later date. The document will list all of the tenants and co-signers. Everyone who lives in the apartment over 18 must be listed in this section. We will get into the consequences of what happens when you have someone living in the apartment who isn't on lease. Clause 1. Clause 1 lets you know how many months are on the lease agreement. The lease requires at least a 60-day notice letting us know if you don't intend to renew your lease. We have a form that you can access on our website linked below where you can find the form we use. If the lease expires, it turns into a month to month lease, which we don't allow. It's always a good idea to have set lease dates so your landlord can't force you out of your apartment with a 30 day notice for any reason. This clause also stipulates that if the tenant occupies the unit on the first day of the month, the full month of rent is due. So make sure if your lease expires on July 31st, you are out of the unit by July 31st. If you want to renew the apartment, you can do that. We do have early renewals that you can back out of up to 60 days before the start of the renewal. It is in your benefit to renew early if you don't have an apartment set up for next year and cancel before the 60 day period if your plans change. Keep an eye on your email, social media, doors for renewal information when we are ready for early renewals. Clause two, this clause details payments. Think of rent as a loan paid in monthly installments. Rent is due on the first of the month every month. If you are moving in in August and your actual move-in date is in the middle of the month, we expect rent to be paid on the 1st to limit confusion down the road. We do prorate, which is covered a little later in this video. Rent can be paid in one of three ways. Online, checks, or money orders. We do not accept cash payments because there isn't sufficient paper trail for tenant protection. Paying online is easy and can help you build a credit score. Check the link in the description below. Paying online is free if you use a checking account. We pay those fees for you. Any credit or debit cards will have a small fee for tenants. Tenants are responsible for processing time, which is three to five business days if paid online. If the first lands on a Saturday, you automatically lose two days right off the bat. If you're lucky, it'll pay out of our account by the fifth. If not, your payment will continue to process past the late fee deadline. If your payments are processing past the fifth day of the month, you will be charged a $75 late fee for the apartment, not the individual. We recommend everybody set auto pay for the 28th of the month. So if you want to pay October rent, set your auto pay to initiate on the 28th of September. This way there's plenty of time to process. Checks and money orders are same day payments and should be avoided. Don't make the habit of handing checks in on the 5th because checks turned in after 5 p.m. on the 5th are considered late payments. Checks and money orders should be avoided when possible because they make record keeping on your side difficult when there is a dispute. Checks and money orders are to be made out to Holly Park Apartments. Avoid mailing checks if possible. If you must mail payments, send them to this address here. Make sure your apartment number is in the memo line of your check or money order. If paying by money order, always keep your money order stub. Blank money orders without stubs as proof are held in the office indefinitely until we can verify who the payment belongs to. If payments bounce out of our account, which can happen with checks and online payments, you are charged a $35 fee. If your payment is late and bounced, both fees are applied and you will be billed $110 total. Make sure you pay before the deadline to make sure your payment's clear and you aren't charged unnecessary fees. Clause 3. 
Only people listed on the lease are to live in the lease. The only exception is for people under the age of 18. If we find additional individuals, you will get a 30 day notice for them to leave and we will pursue eviction if the individuals are not removed. Clause four. The security deposit is the sum of money we hold during the term of the lease agreement. The deposit is used for repairing and getting the unit for the next tenant at the end of the lease. We do return the security deposit so long as you follow our cleaning rules and you don't damage the apartment past normal wear and tear. The security deposit is returned within 30 days of the apartment vacating completely and is returned to Holly Park's possession, provided there is a forwarding address provided. The security deposit is not for rent payments. Clause 5. The administration fee is a $100 fee charged to applicants to get them on our books as tenants. We use this fee to also store your documents for seven years. Clause 6. Rent will not commence until the tenants have keys. If your lease starts August 1st and we don't give you keys until August 20th, we charge a per day fee for the days you have the unit, also known as a prorate. The prorate is due the second month of your lease agreement, so we aren't throwing tons of numbers your way. This does not change the end date of your lease and does not change when rent is due. Rent is always due on the first of the month. Clause seven, renter's insurance is required. Holly Park is not liable for theft, destruction, loss or damage to any property of the tenant or their guests. Tenants must provide their own insurance. We require at least $100,000 personal liability and about $10,000 for personal property, but you may want to take inventory in case your belongings total more than 10 grand. If the apartment becomes uninhabitable due to casualty, we are not required to provide alternate living quarters. Renters insurance will protect you in the event of a disaster. Please have renters insurance. Make sure you check with your parents to see if their policy will extend to Holly Park. Make sure your policy covers your roommates belongings or they will need a policy of their own. Renters insurance is extremely affordable and most around $150 for the year for what we require. It's something you hope you never have to use, but you're happy to have it when you need it. Clause eight, Holly Park can enter your apartment during business hours to make inspections repairs. We are required by law to give a 24 hour notice prior to entry. When submitting a work order, you have the option to waive the 24 hour notice. We recommend that all tenants communicate prior to sending in a work order that waive the 24 hour notice. The exception to this rule is if there is an emergency. Emergencies are leaks, fires, and wellness checks. We will leave notices on your counters if we make emergency entrance. If you absolutely do not trust us, we get it. We welcome you to install cameras on the interior of your apartment. Just remember to remove them and repair your holes at the end of your lease agreement. Clause nine. We have the right to reclaim your apartment if you aren't paying your rent or are violating terms of service. If we reclaim your apartment through eviction, you are still required to pay rent until the apartment is released. So don't go punching holes in walls because that will delay the time we can get the apartment ready for the next tenant. Clause 10, property left at the end of the lease is not protected. Make sure your apartment is completely cleared out at the end of the agreement. Clause 11, only tenant vehicles can get permanent passes. If you do not have a vehicle of your own, you are not granted a parking pass. This allows us the ability to allow guests to park on the property. We will talk about guest parking in the policy portion of this video. We do not allow boats, motorhomes, or trailers in the parking lot without permission. No repairing, washing, or unauthorized storage of vehicles on our lot. Our drainage system goes directly into the environment and we are in a garage. Holly Park is not liable for parking lot damage to vehicles. All vehicles on the lot must be operational. If a vehicle is broken down, we will have it removed. Clause 12. We provide deadbolts on our suite doors. We provide tenants with one key to this door that must be returned at the end of the lease agreement. Do not duplicate your keys. This is unsafe. Less copies of keys means less access to your apartment. Remember, you are not the only person of the lease agreement and this can fracture trust between you and your roommate. If you want to add keyed entry into your bedroom, you can do that provided you give us a key to your room. If we have to break down doors in an emergency, the tenant will be billed for damages caused. 
Poly Park does not use master keys for our doors. We have copies of every key in our office. Clause 13. Smoke detectors are to be tested monthly by the tenants. If the smoke detector needs new batteries, please come to the office for free replacements. Each bedroom has a smoke detector. Every apartment hallway and HVAC bedroom also has carbon monoxide detectors. If the tenants remove or tamper with the units, they will be billed $25 per smoke detector tampered with. If there are further instances, we double each fine. $25 to $50, $50 to $100, and so on. Smoke and carbon monoxide detectors protect the lives of your apartment and those around you. Do not tamper with them. Clause 14. This clause pertains to storage lockers, which this property doesn't have, but could include in the future, which is why it's in the lease. Clause 15. Guest damage is tenant damage. Guests are to be informed of our policies and to be escorted around the property by the tenants. Clause 16. This is the least understood clause of the lease agreement. This clause states that everybody on the lease is one person. If your roommate isn't paying rent, you are responsible for their debt. Cosigners, damage, move out dates, everything is shared equally. Make sure you have a communication center reminding everyone of important dates, bill reminders, and rent reminders. Clause 17. Tenant improvements can be made with written permission of the office. You are welcome to paint your walls, but you must turn them back to white or you will be billed. We allow nails and screws so long as you repair your holes at the end of your lease to avoid charges. Any permanent additions to the apartment become property of Holly Park. Holly Park does not compensate for permanent additions. Tenants agree to restore the apartment to the original condition, which includes cleaning. Clause 18. If Holly Park is sold, your lease continues uninterrupted until the end of your lease agreement. Clause 19. Here is where we list behavioral rules on the property. This is not an exhaustive list of rules and we can add additional rules in the building that are reasonable. Here are a few of the big ones that I'll touch on. Sound should be contained to your apartment, which includes music and excessively loud talking. We do expect mild noise leaks and you should too living in an apartment building. Smell should be contained to your apartment. No one should smell your dinner other than you. Use candles, open windows when possible, and deodorizing sprays. Never open your apartment door while cooking. It's just plain rude. Doors are unlocked only when passing through them. Always lock your suite door even if you're in your apartment. Trash is never permitted in the hallways. Carry trash directly to the dumpsters. Finally, if you get the feeling that you shouldn't be doing something, don't do it. Act like an adult. Clause 20. Subleds, come to me. Do not do them on your own. We need to do background checks and habitation checks prior to subletting apartments. Clause 21. Fixtures of the apartment are not to be removed. This includes your smoke detectors. Clause 22. So long as you follow our rules and policies, we will defend your right to live here. If you fail to uphold community standards, we will give you a notice of non-renewal and you will not be able to live here with us for a second year. Clause 23, use the property with respect to us and yourself. Report maintenance issues when they occur on our website. You are not to operate any businesses, auctions, or sales in your apartment. You are not to conduct any activities that could cause bodily harms to others or the building. Clause 24, you agree to know where our property is and respect our neighbors. To boil this clause down to bare essentials. Do not enter our neighbor's land and respect their borders. Clause 25. Keep the apartment clean, sightly, and in a sanitary condition. We will inspect offending apartments regularly, and it will be the tenant's expense to get the apartment to an acceptable condition. Failure to comply with cleaning standards will result in fines. Some maintenance issues fall under this clause, such as clogged drains. Tenants are required to keep their drains clear of blockages, such as hair. Toilets that get clogged are to be plunged by tenants. We also expect tenants to unjam garbage disposals when they are misused. We are actually creating a library of videos on this channel to help with these common cleaning issues. Clause 26. Keep your exits and entrances clear at all times. You don't want to be tripping over things exiting your building in the event of an emergency. Nothing is to ever be stored in our hallways. This includes trash. Clause 27. 
This clause details what is included in rent. We take care of water, trash, sewage, high-speed internet, gas for your furnace, and hot water. Clause 28. Tenants are responsible for electricity. You must set up your own account. Failure to comply will result in fees being added to your rental account plus a service fee. Clause 29. If you can't pay your rent, talk to us. We can set up payment plans and work with you to keep you in the apartment. Communication is key. Clause 30. At the end of your lease, let us know where you're heading so we can get you your refund or have a chance to make payments on debt before we send to collections. Clause 31. Your rent payments are only for your apartment and do not include amenities such as college towers amenities, which you do have access to. Clause 32. You have three days to complete your move and inspection. If you don't complete your inspection, the damages are considered yours. We do expect normal wear and tear. Only remodeled units will need to comb through everything and write every defect, but for OG Holly Park, focus on holes in carpets, doors, and windows, and other consumables, of course. Clause 33. No pets or animals are to be kept on the premise without written permission from the landlord. Violations will result in being charged a default fee and monthly charges. Visiting animals must be cleared by the office. Clause 34. The default fee. If you are found in violation of the lease agreement, you will be charged a $300 default fee. If you are taken to eviction proceedings, you will be billed court costs. You will also be held accountable for damages that were incurred. Clause 35. If it's not in writing, it didn't happen. This lease contains the entire agreement. If we send you something in writing, make sure you keep those emails as receipts. Clause 36. Don't like the walls. The paint is lead free, but we recommend it's not for consumption. This clause is primarily for apartments built before 1978. We were built in 1991. We don't have lead paint. Clause 34. Don't commit crimes on or off the property. We can evict for a multitude of crimes. Play it safe and don't do illegal activities. Cosigner guarantee. Cosigners are liable for debt left by the tenants. Make sure you don't burn any bridges with them. Make sure you take care of your apartment. If you renew your apartment, make sure you communicate with your cosigners. This, however, does not grant cosigners the right to access your apartment or live in the apartment. We do not accept work orders from cosigners. The policy packet explains and highlights important clauses and lists different established rules we've created over time. The parking policy. Tenant vehicles must be permitted. Permits go on the bottom right-hand corner of the front windshield anywhere else and you will be towed. Follow standard parking rules. One car per spot. We don't care how nice your Civic is. Do not park on fire lanes. Do not park on the lawn. Abandoned vehicles with flat tires will be removed from the property at the owner's expense. Parking is a privilege, not a right. We can revoke and remove vehicles that do not follow speed limits, modified loud exhausts, or blast music through the community. Visitor parking. We tow Monday through Friday daily from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. Outside of those hours, we do not tow unless there are parking violations. Towing stops Friday at 7 a.m. until Monday at 9 p.m. Visitor parking is also a privilege. If you consistently have complaints about your guests, we will always start by denying requests for passes. If you have guests come over during towing hours unexpectedly, send us a text message and we will deliver a pass to you for $5. We donate all after hour parking passes to charities and raise $275 our first year. Packages. The year this video was recorded, there was a global pandemic. We set door-to-door -door deliveries between 4 to 5 p.m. every weekday and hold weekend packages until the next business day. Emails are sent out when we check packages in. Please notify us if you're not home during the hour we intend to deliver. If you are expecting a package, email us tracking details and we will put it to the side for delivery at a later date or non-contact pickup. We also offer delivery for packages for $5 after hours that we then donate to charity or community project. When there isn't a pandemic, the package room is self-service and has surveillance. If you are caught stealing packages, your entire apartment's packages will not be accepted at our office to protect others. If a package is stolen, Holly Park is not responsible for the package. Pets. We touched on this briefly. If you plan to have a cat or a dog, you will be charged $300 upfront and pet rent each month. 
The exception to this is if they are ESAs or service animals. We also want to limit exotics to the property, so no tigers, please. <sighs> Any damages caused by the tenants, animals, or guest animals is subject to pay out the damages. Visiting animals must be cleared by the office or you will be billed. We also expect dogs to always be leashed and pick up after they do their business. Fines will be dealt to violators. Mold and mildew. Mold and mildew are some of the most common organisms on the face of the earth. You're bound to find some in bathrooms or anywhere you find water. Tenants are responsible to clean up mold and mildew. Prevent mold and mildew by cleaning your apartment regularly and always run bathroom fans when the bathrooms are in use. We also suggest leaving bathrooms open when bathrooms aren't in use. Lead-based paint. This old chestnut was already covered. We were built well after the prohibition of lead-based paints. The Integrated Pest Management Plan. Keep your apartment clean, free of clutter, and comply with housing laws to prevent infestation. Let us know if you have an infestation so we can treat the pests quickly before they spread. You must comply with our treatment efforts, which include inspections of abutting units. Tenants are responsible for the cost of the treatment. The only exception to this is if you move in and find cockroaches, as they are hard to detect during the flip process. Holly Park forbids tenants from taking anything from the trash. Offenders will be billed $700 for bed bug treatment if we find you taking anything from the dumpsters. We suggest always inspecting your belongings for signs of infestation. Look along the seams of your mattress and luggage before items enter your apartment for bug bodies or droppings. If you do not comply with the integrated pest management plan, you will be evicted. Cleaning fees. Help us get the apartment ready for the next tenant. Make sure you do your best to leave your apartment clean and ready as possible. If you don't, you will be billed these cleaning charges. This is not an exhaustive list of charges, but we do tend to stick to these unless tenants get really creative. Replacement fees. This is what you are billed when you break something after you leave. This is just for the materials and not labor costs. The more damaged the apartment is, the more we bill. This is our lease agreement in a nutshell. If you have questions, please ask in the comments below or give us a call.